What's up? Joe Rosen here. I am pumped up. It's January 2nd, baby. January 2nd is a huge day for me because I am 12 months into an 18 month stretch of prepping for business. You're saying, whoa, 18 months? Why are you prepping 18 months for business, man? Just do it. I agree. I agree a thousand percent. But I'm in the army, baby, so I'm on a contract. So I got to wait till that contract's up. So I'm spending all my time, all my focus getting prepped for this business, right? So now that I'm six months out, I wanna document some of this stuff. I want you guys to see what I'm thinking about, what I'm focusing on, some of the hurdles I'm encountering, and what I'm doing to overcome those different hurdles so that you, hopefully, when you see me do a good job, you can just recreate. Uh, and when I do a horrible job, you can say, don't do what Joe did, man, do something else. So that's the idea. On top of that, I'm fired up. Just went to the doctor today, found out I have a sinus infection. I've been sick for 44 days. I look at that like it's a hurdle. This is a challenge, baby. God said, dude, it's too easy for you. We're going to give you some challenges. Here's a boom, sinus infection. So I sound a little down. I sound a little out. I don't care. It's just a hurdle, baby. No problem. So what are the three things I'm focusing on right now in my business, right? There's always a couple things that I try to keep at the forefront of my mind. So number one is listing out between now and when I'm starting day one, uh, everything that I'd like to get done ideally, okay? I've got it all listed out. And anytime there's something I want to add to that, I jot it down, stick it in my pocket, and when I get home, I pull it out, and boom, I add it to my list, right? And I prioritize it. Easy peasy, right? So number two is giving time to each thing. So I make a schedule every month, and I put exactly the times throughout the month that I want to dedicate to working on the business. I show it to my wife, and I say, honey, here's exactly when I want to do what I want to do, and all the other time I'm not at work, boom, it's family time. It's for you. It's for the girls. And she signs off on it, right? She says, yes, you are good. And then I go and I attack, man. So that is when I do those things. And my wife is awesome. She leaves me alone. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sick. But she leaves me alone. She lets me attack this stuff, man, which is awesome. Because that allows me, when it's family time, to fully commit. I get out of the business and I fully commit. So what's the third thing on my mind? Third thing is... I had a list of books that I wanted to read last year, 2018. I put them on Facebook. I told my friends, dude, look at all these books. There's a million of them. That's me counting books. I don't know what that was. And I said, dude, I'm going to read all these books. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be fired up. I read two of them. I was pretty disappointed. And then I started talking to a good buddy of mine, right? Chris Pruitt. He is one of the most incredible pastors you'll ever meet in your life. And his dad, hands down the best pastor on the planet, Princeton, Minnesota. If you've never heard of them, look them up. They're in a city of like three, 4,000 people and like 7,000 people go to church every Sunday. It's ridiculous. I don't know how they do it. But anyway, this guy's incredible. He said, Joe, I read like 7,000 books last year. I'm like, how did you read 7,000 books? He said, I quit reading them. I don't have time to read them, right? Do you have time to read them? I said, no, I don't have time to read them. How did you do it? He said, I went to Audible, man. I went to Audible and I started downloading all these books. I don't know if he went to Audible. That's where I went. He went somewhere and he started downloading all these books and he just listens to them all the time because he's in the car all the time. And I'm like, dude, I'm in the car all the time. That's perfect. So that's what I did, right? So I got all these books downloaded. And I also, right over there, dude, I got a million books. That's my, okay, I don't even know how to work my finger yet. Those are all my books. I've read like 20% of them because I'm never around. I never have time to do it. So... I put them on audio, and now when I'm in the car, I listen to them all the time, right? It takes me about 20 minutes to get to work. It takes me about 30 minutes to get back. That's almost an hour every single day. In addition to that, I carry around a book with me everywhere with a notebook. Never no notebook. You got to bring that notebook, baby. I bring the book. I bring the notebook. I read, and I always write one of two things. Either a quote. If it's a really cool quote, I don't want to forget it, and I want to put it up on my quote board later. Or number two, action, colon, space, and then whatever it is I want to action that I just got from that book, right? So whatever cool idea it is, and I'm like, whoa, that's awesome. I'm going to implement that. I write it down. I write the page it's on so I can come back to it later to, to get kind of the context of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, bam, I throw it in the project folder. And then when I am looking for that next list of stuff to do, I go to the project folder. I look it all up. It's already prioritized. That was the first thing I talked about. And, bam, I got my whole list of stuff that I want to fill in with that monthly calendar, baby. That's it. 